three, two, one. Okay, I'm about to document my live streaming setup using the ATEM Mini. And this documentation will be completed, completely recorded using this setup itself. Let's stand by. In the previous video, I did a live projection setup to switch between two cameras and one computer and the output goes into an external monitor. Right now, I'll be expanding the setup to switch between three cameras, three video cameras and one computer. And for output, we are, going, we are still going into the external monitor, but this time we are also going live to YouTube in 1080p. Check out the link below and see that live recording. I will not do any cuts to it so that you can see how this thing actually works live. I'm going to take you through a tour of the whole system here. First of all, I want to introduce to you the back. Now the first part is mic 1. It's an input okay, which goes to the receiver of the Sennheiser G3. The Sennheiser G3 mic that I'm wearing right now. Next to it is mic 2. That's where you heard the music. Now it's right plugged into my phone. To turn it on, I just on this switch. Right, you can hear the music. So I'm going to turn it off now. Okay, beside that, is HDMI input source number one. That's camera one. Then we have HDMI input from camera two. Then three will be camera three. Number four will be the HDMI output from a computer. Okay, the one you saw just now. Then beside that is the HDMI output, which goes directly all the way to that external monitor over there, right? You can see my finger, external monitor. It's live. Okay, now, next to this is the webcam out. Oh, it's a USB-C port, okay, which goes into the USB input of my MacBook Pro. And the video is converted into a signal which my OBS software can pick up. Beside that is an Ethernet control port. This is used when we connect to the software control panel. Beside that is our power jack. It's a one-man crew thing, right? Three cameras and one presentation computer. Have a close-up look at the front panel of the A10 Mini. The main buttons that we are going to press are the four big ones. This is HDMI input source number one number two, number three, number four. Okay, number, you're looking at number three now, which is a close-up view of the front panel. So let's switch to number one. Okay, that's camera number one. And then let's switch to number two. Now that's camera number two, capturing the wide shot of ev everything. Yeah, that's camera number one, that's camera number three. Right now, camera three is pointing at the front panel. And camera number four, is our slides from the coming from the slides computer. I'm going to introduce to you these tiny buttons on top. If you can see this section here, labeled mic 1, that's the selection and control for the Sennheiser mic which I'm wearing right now. Right now it's turned on. If I turn off, just listen. Of course, you can't hear me when, it's, when I turn it off. Now, there's two arrow buttons below, up and down. One is for volume up, the other one volume down. I'm pressing the up now. Up, 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 up. You can hear my voice getting louder. Very, very loud. And even the background hissing sound is getting louder. Okay, now I'm going to press the down button. Down, down, down. See how far you can go.
of course it went to silent right you can't hear me let's take a look at this mic 2 this is the one connected to my my phone playing music in loop so if I turn it on you can hear the music let's listen okay I can even continue talking because both the mic and the music input is are on okay I can also control the volume of the music turn it off the six buttons, six small buttons on top of the HDMI button number one are the audio selection and control buttons. Okay, by default it's turned off. So what happens if I turn it on? Just listen. Test test one, two. So if I can turn off my Sennheiser mic, you will, you will notice the difference. One, two. Okay, I'm going to switch over. Okay, I'm speaking to camera one right now and my voice is being captured by the built-in mic which is very far away. Okay, I'm going to turn on my, my clip on mic. Yep, I'm back and turn off the camera sound. Okay, camera itself also have uh, volume control up and down which I don't need to demonstrate. I've already shown you. I just want to tell you what, is, what AFV means. It means audio follow video. What it means is if I activate this, audio of input one will come in when I select input one. Let's listen. Hi, is input one coming in? Let me on it louder so that you can hear. Yup, yep, it's coming in. So if I switch to other camera, it doesn't follow anymore. That's the meaning of AFV, audio follow video. So same goes for input 2, 3 and 4. Each one of them has got a similar audio selection and control buttons. So what is this still and black? Okay, very easy. Black means you put the output of black. Let's press. That's it. You can still hear me, but the screen is black. Let's go back. Okay, now. What is still? Still only works with a software control panel that you install onto the computer. Let's look at what's on the right hand side, especially this section. By default, cut is selected. What it means is when you switch between two cameras, it's a straight cut like this. Camera one, straight cuts into camera two. This section on the right hand side, we call the auto button. What it means is you can select transition effects like mix, dip, push, squeeze, vertical wipe and horizontal wipe. Let's switch to auto. Now I'm going to select dip. What does dip mean? Okay, dip means dip to white or dip through white. And so now push. What does that look like? Okay, push. So how about squeeze? squeeze this is squeeze 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 then we have vertical wipe vertical wipe and we have horizontal wipe horizontal wipe so this duration is meant to control the duration of the transition effects one second by default then there is half a second 1.5 seconds and two seconds okay let's try two seconds of uh, mix so this is a two second mix, a very slow two second mix. These six buttons is the picture in picture control buttons. Okay, it's off now. Let's turn it on. There you go. You see my face on the top left. And I can quickly change the position by pressing this button, top right, and then bottom left and bottom right. Okay, very quickly we can switch to any position on the spot instantaneous okay i can turn off any time the most common one is uh, at the bottom right when will i personally use picture and picture effect mostly when i'm doing a, a presentation slide okay so this is my presentation slide and then i turn on picture and picture so now i notice that my picture is blocking a word so i simply quickly switch position right bring it up to the top right let me go through the motion hello i'm adrian lee 
I was an electronics engineer for six years at the Singapore Navy. When I left, I joined Panasonic as a marketing officer. Okay, after that, I joined one of my clients, a production house, as a videographer. Okay, and on and on and on. So, this is a typical presentation setup. Okay, there's one button here called the FTB. It means fade to black. Very easy, when you press it, it fades to black. When you press it again, it comes back. I see myself using fade to black in a live projection setup in a live event. Okay, when there's nothing going on for the screen, I'll click fade to black. And when there's something to show, I press the fade to black again to, to come back. There is two more buttons. That is the key button. Okay, I can't demonstrate that now because this one only works when we connect it to the to the software control panel. Okay, this USB-C output, okay, or what they call the webcam out, goes into the USB port of my MacBook Pro, which is picked up by the OBS software. Now I am going live to YouTube now. If you don't believe me, here you go. The other window you can see a live stream of my YouTube. Okay, the picture there is a little bit delayed. It's like about five to seconds delay. Okay, we have already spoke about 28 minutes. Okay, and very soon I'll be ending the stream. Okay, so I'm going into YouTube right now in full HD 1080p. Now I want to show you the audio meter in US in uh, o OBS. Okay, this is the one I look at when I adjust the audio levels. I will just make sure my voice, my peak voice is within the yellow range. Okay, let me just quickly show you video capture, the video input. Okay, right now it's detecting the video input as ATEM Mini. That means it recognizes the device ATEM Mini as an external web cam. There's actually a lot more the ATEM Mini can do when we connect to the software control panel on the computer. Things like live chroma key or green screen effect, text overlay, graphic transition, and some more broadcast features. And I'll be testing that in the next video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. Wait, let me prepare. Switch to the main one first. Okay, I'm gonna press the music button. Is the music ready? Yes. This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one.